In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to create and how to work with the report. The report consists of three different types of views. You can create up to eight charts, tables or your own custom content. Before we start, ensure you are the report editor and you have a dataset with some imported data. This process has been described in previous tutorials. Let's start. We have a dataset containing sales data. New report is created just by clicking on the create button. Let's create a simple chart. As you can see, there are many different chart types you can choose from. In our example, we want to show how the budget has been changed in time. We choose a line chart and call it budget analysis, for example. Now we need to define the time interval. By default, it is automatically set according to data availability. The next step is to choose the indicators which you want to analyze. You can define your own ad hoc indicators and write various formal scripts for them. To find more about creating them, visit our developers portal. You can also change the aggregation type and appearance settings. Ok, single indicator is enough for our case. If you want to look deeper into your data, you can do the drill down. To define it, just open the chart settings, add the drill down element and choose the attribute, let's say city. The chart now shows the budget values by CDs. You can change everything directly from the view by clicking on indicator name, attribute name or time range. Changing the chart type is also very simple. Now we can go ahead with the tables, similar to charts. We can also define its name, specify the date interval, and choose from the indicators. Unlike the charts, it is possible to create indicator groups. Here is our table. Now we can add the drill down path. It is also similar to charts, but you can specify as many drill down paths as you want. Let's say city and product. This applies also to the date time interval definitions. You can specify more time entries and define them using formulas. Here is how our table looks like. All settings are accessible just by clicking on the desired element. The table is easy customizable. In the settings dialog you can add or remove elements, change the order of them and choose from various table appearances. If you are ready with a table, you can leave comments directly in the table cell. It will also be shown on the comments panel, where you can comment the entire report. You can track the conversation by subscribing email notifications. Common functionality for both views are filters. Variables and sharing options including exports to various formats like PDF, Microsoft Excel, or PNG. Another option is to export the entire report. Here is how it works for PowerPoint. You can share the entire report with your colleagues or you can publish it or its specific view on your dashboard. If you want to make your report more fancy, just add the custom content. You can add anything you need to give better insights to your analysis, like videos from YouTube or another HTML content. The next video is available here. Thank you for watching this Bladati tutorial.